Hey, it's Round Guy again. We're back with another video. And I told you I'd show you how to change out the gas rings on the AR-15 bolt. I showed you in a previous video that mine were wore out. So we got here is a package of Brownells gas rings, a pair of pliers, some dental picks, and the AR-15 bolt. And I'll show you here again. Pull your bolt all the way out. And you just set it down on the bolt face and you'll see that it drops down it won't hold itself up so that just means that the gas rings are wore out so we'll go ahead and change them i'll show you how easy it is so we'll just take we'll tear down the bolt firing pin firing pin retainer And your bolt and you see here these gas rings there's three of them here get that focus three rings so we'll change those out wipe this off here so what we'll do all you gotta do Usually I have a fine, I, I have a really fine pick, and it's gone MIA. And let's see, this isn't working too. This is usually really simple to do if you have the fine dental pick. And mine is gone, so this might not work out so good. All three rings. Get the gaps lined up here together. Might be a chance I can pop all three of them out together. There's one. And there's two. And there's a third one. Okay. And those three rings. So let's, I'm going to wipe, wipe that bolt, we'll just clean it up here, I'm going to scrape in there, make sure there's no carbon build up, and look nice and clean when I put the new rings in, okay. So, there's the old rings. These I picked up for through Brown Owls. They're packaged five sets. Each set is three rings. They get five sets here for uh, six or seven dollars. I've used these before. And these rings, uh, these gas rings that I'm changing. I don't know what I've got for round count on them. There's probably, you know, I wasn't keeping track, and I was actually surprised when I saw that they were worn. Um, it was gut. I was thinking I only had three or four thousand rounds. Anyway, so I do. You know, slide this on. You'll just. Get my fat fingers out of the way here. You know, just slide them, kind of separate it a little bit. I'll snap right in. Slide the next one on. Just get one side in the groove. Pull the other side. Sides in and just snap it on down there. Of course, I'm trying to show you on video, and it's fighting me. There we go. There's two rings, and the third one. Where are the 
So all three are there. And I just want to rotate them so the gaps, because they have an opening. So try to hold one, get another one, spin it. And those gaps might align back up one day, I don't know. But for the sake of initial assembly, let's move those gaps away from each other. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it here in the camera shot. Let's just rotate those. Alright, so that together, put a little CLP on here. Assemble the bolt. Be a lot tighter going back together. Okay. And we'll just put the whole assembly back together here. Okay, so now a lot tighter, stand the bolt up, and it stays, it stays standing here, I don't know if you can see that, so earlier the weight of it, it would sit back down, and that's all there is to it, it should go smoother, and of course it'll go smoother if you're not doing it on camera, so anyway. Those are the new gas rings from Brownells. And here's the package there. You can get the part number. All right, so we'll be shooting it here in another week. And uh, everything should run. The rifle ran fine with the old ones, but it didn't pass the test, so we'll put new ones on. This is Round Guy with Round Guy's Gun Reviews. Thanks for watching. We'll edit that up a little bit and cut out all the, the nonsense there. So check out our other videos. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Facebook. We'll be at the range soon. We'll have uh, me and my son. We'll both have our ARs out. We'll see you in the next one.